Each year, over 60,000 Americans die because they can't afford health care. And here's what people often miss. It's not just folks that don't have insurance. It's working class folks, middle class folks who can't afford the deductibles, who can't afford the co-pays. I knew someone like that in my district, Sarah Broughton, in her early 20s. And I had to go to her memorial service in San Jose. She was in her early 20s. She had a sinus infection. And she did not get her insurance approved from the state. And so she never treated it. She could not afford to go to a primary care doctor. And then the infection spread to her brain. By the time she went to the ER, by the time our country said, OK, now you have to treat her. Let me tell you something. No one in America should die because of a sinus infection. <laughs> I know where I stand, and many progressives stand on Medicare care for all, but lip service is no longer enough. We need politicians who will implement single payer at the state level and fight for it at the federal level. We need Democrats who will lead the American people to make it happen and stop kowtowing to special interest groups that give millions of dollars to fund their campaigns and put profits over people's illness.